Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Welcome back, thank you for being here today. So today's creation is on a 16 by 16 inch canvas. I'm using a black base, a cookie cutter to do an open cup and some greens and gold. And the intention is to recreate the Aurora Borealis or better known as the Northern Lights. I hope I said that right. So first of all, I'm gonna get the black base down. I'm gonna put my cookie cutter on top of the black paint and then fill my cookie cutter up with the color palette that I've got. All the colors are listed in the description box below with the name and the brand. So check that out if you'd like some more information. I'm really excited to do this. So let's crack on with the process. I'm just spreading the black paint out on my base. I'm not fully covering the canvas itself because as I add paint onto the black, it will increase the volume and it will also enable me to push more of the black paint and the color across the full canvas. So my black paint is mixed with Floetrol, so a pouring medium, one part paint to three parts Floetrol, as are all of the colors in the color palette. And my black paint is slightly thicker because as I layer the cup, my cookie cutter with the greens and the gold, I want that paint to really go underneath the black paint. So when I stretch it out, it will appear and pop through. Quite mysterious, quite mystical, and hopefully layered. So you'll see different depths and volumes to the paint. So I'm gonna take the paint one by one, add some paint into the cookie cutter, and then repeat that process. Once the cookie cutter is filled up with the paint, I'm then going to slightly move the cup by lifting it up and down. But first of all, let's get the paint into this cookie cutter first. As I pick up my cookie cutter, I'm just doing it gently and releasing the paint from the underneath that's going way into the black paint that we've already laid on the base. So you'll see the volume of the paint in the cookie cutter decrease and go down. That's releasing from the bottom into the black paint itself. So I'm just gonna do that a couple of times to reduce the volume of the paint that we've already layered in the cookie cutter and then I'm gonna repeat that process again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one color at a time and add it back into the cookie cutter. So again, I'm using my gold and my green color palette. Just adding a little bit of paint in at a time, one by one, and then I'll move the cookie cutter further along the canvas. And then what we'll do is we'll stretch it out even further. And that's when we're going to really see those colours really kind of pop through on that black background. I can't wait for you to see how this transforms. So I know there's a lot of paint now underneath this black paint. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly move the cookie cutter across the surface of that canvas with that black paint underneath. Some of it's already shining through on top as you can see as I drag it across. I'm just doing it slowly because I don't wanna rush the process. I'm gonna get to the end of the canvas and I'm gonna take my cookie cutter off that edge. 
Now, don't worry about how it looks at the moment because when we stretch it out, that's going to disappear off the side of the canvas. And we're going to then tilt it and then look at the composition of the pattern and the creation we're making. There are some bubbles in there, some air bubbles. And I'm going to just pop those now before I stretch this piece out. And I always pop my air bubbles with my butane torch. So I can see all the paint underneath there. Let me just take you in for a quick view. You can see some of it already peeking through from that black base. And there's obviously some, some paint there that I'm going to push off. So now the fun part. We're going to pick up our canvas and we're literally going to open up this piece by tilting it. And what I mean is we're going to spread that paint out that we've layered underneath the black and we're gonna stretch out the black paint and the green paint to expose the paint that's underneath the black paint that's on the base. And that's gonna reveal all those colors, but it's gonna reveal it quite uniquely in terms of depth because you're gonna see all different tones really appear as you stretch it out. Don't be afraid to really push that paint over the edges and down the sides to really open up the creation on the surface of that canvas. So can you see here, I'm just tilting from side to side. I'm covering the full base of that canvas now with the paint that we've already, la already layered. I've not added any more as a flow extender or anything like that. I'm literally stretching out the paint I've already got. And you can see that there's some depth to this piece already. I can't wait to take you in for a closer look so you can see all that detail. I'm really happy with the composition of this piece. So I'm going to take all the drips off the edges and I'm gonna do that by just taking a palette knife and running the palette knife along each of the edges, picking up the drips of paint as I go. I do that so it doesn't pull the design further off the surface, down the edge and off onto the table. It shouldn't really do much of that anyway because the table that I'm using is a straight table, it's fully balanced, it's a flat surface. But if you remove the drips as you go, that's going to minimise any movement on top of the piece too. I'm just going to finish off by popping any air bubbles and bringing any cell formations through using my torch. And then what I'll do is I'll take you in for a close-up so you can see some of that detail. And here we go. Let's go in for a close-up now. And I'm going to show you some of that detail. And you can see by layering it underneath the thicker black paint, we've been able to create some depth to this piece. And I really feel that I've the intention that I set out to do with the Northern Lights is something that I've been able to recreate here. I'm going to let this piece dry and then I'm going to take you in for a close up of the dry version as well. But guys, let me know what you think. What do you think of this piece overall? Does it say Northern Lights to you? I'd love to know what you think. And if you attempt this too, please tag me in your post because I love to see what you create along the way too.
So here's the dry version. I'm going to go in and show you some of the details. I'm going to show you some of the, the lines and the, the depth that's been formed and how we've been able to create different tones and movement within that piece. I would just want to thank you all for watching today. Thank you for joining me on this fluid art journey. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you so much for all of your support. I'm going to leave you now with some of the detail. Wish you a great week ahead. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of this video and some of the detail that you can see here in this dried version. See you soon. Bye.